A Boeing 787 Dreamliner test plane had to make an emergency landing in Texas yesterday because of smoke and fire in the cabin. And it's just the latest in a series of recent in-flight problems. CBS News aviation correspondent Nancy Cordes joins us this morning from Washington with more. Nancy, this fire actually happened in, if I have it correct, the electrical equipment bay, which can have a pretty significant impact on some of the flight controls. It, it's a little scary to hear. It is, Erica. This fire occurred at the end of a six-hour test flight when the plane was coming in for a landing at Laredo Airport in Texas. They noticed smoke in the back of the cabin, and then some of the flight and engine controls stopped working properly as well. Now, the pilot was able to land the plane safely. The slides were deployed on the runway, and the several dozen technicians who were on board were able to get off safely as well, Erica. But it's definitely a setback for Boeing, which is already three years behind in the delivery of its Dreamliner. And that's the problem right now. And it's not just Boeing, though, that we're hearing of problems with, because, of course, last week there was the issue with Qantas Airlines and Airbus uh, 380, which blew an engine in mid-flight. And then we're hearing today Singapore Airlines uh, is actually switching out the engines on a third of its A380s. What's happening? These are the two major players in the global market for this. Exactly. Singapore Airlines says it found oil stains from a few of its engines and now says it may ground its entire fleet of Airbus A380s to examine the problem. And as you alluded to, Qantas just said on Monday it's grounding its fleet of Airbus A380s indefinitely after discovering oil leaks in several of its engines as well. Now, this is a big setback for Airbus. This is really Airbus's new signature aircraft, the Airbus A380. So just like Boeing, they are scrambling to figure out what's happening. Well, we've talked about the planes, but there is actually more news, too, with the people who fly those planes. Uh, two different pilots' unions now calling for a boycott of these full-body scanners, which we're seeing more and more of in airports. Why are they opposed to, to the added security? Well, they're coming out and urging their pilots to boycott these full-body scanners because they say that their primary concern is the radiation. Since pilots have to fly so many times a month, they say they also have privacy concerns as well. Now, the TSA says these machines are safe and that the dose of radiation is about a two-thousandth of the dose that you'd get in a typical chest X-ray. But still, the TSA says it does acknowledge the concerns of these pilots. It's working with the unions to resolve the issue because full-body scanners are here to stay. They're installed in 65 airports around the country and counting, Erica. Get used to them, huh? Nancy Cordes in Washington this morning. Nancy, thanks.